once upon a time, there was a fly, born in African rivers. And to live, it had to bite humans. And when it did, the fly became infected with tiny worms. When the fly bit another person, the worms entered their skin and grew up. They mated and their baby worms migrated, causing unbearable itching and ultimately blindness. In Africa, children would lead their blinded elders with sticks. Millions of people were affected. Millions of acres were uninhabitable, trapping people in poverty. Something had to be done about this little fly. 1974, something was done. Using helicopters, spraying insecticides into rivers in 11 African countries. It was called the Onchocerciasis Control Program. Where it was tried, it worked. The disease stopped spreading. People returned to farm. But the existing infections carried on. 1990, 11 of 30 countries had been treated, 19 more countries to go. Then a drug used to fight hookworm in dogs is re-examined. Turns out, in people, it works like a miracle on river blindness, killing the larvae, preventing new infections, stopping the itching immediately putting an end to infected people going blind. Merck donates all the pills needed to control the disease. Just one or two pills a year. Per person, no exceptions. 1995, APOC is begun to help countries identify needs and satisfy those needs. From there, the communities take charge. Thanks to many donors, smart organizations, determined countries, the infected are better. Communities are transformed. Today, all affected countries in Africa are being treated at a fraction of the cost. Less money is going further. Some areas are now free of the disease and treatment has stopped. The success is unprecedented. Could this be the end of river blindness? By 2025, we can eliminate river blindness, but APOC is scheduled to end. If we stop, river blindness will come back. We must finish the job.